Anime Snapshot, Angels of Death. Let's go! Angels of Death is an adventure video game from 2015. It was a basis for manga from 2016. And JC Snaff produced an anime of 16 episodes in 2018. It is a psychological horror that is very popular. The Plot Rachel Garner is a 13-year-old girl that wakes up in a basement of an abandoned building. She seems to have amnesia. She doesn't remember the past. Wandering through the building, she meets Zach, Isaac Foster, a serial murderer whose whole body is wrapped in bandages and he carries a big scythe, just like death. Since Rachel has a big death wish, two of them make an agreement that he will kill her after she helps him leave the place. They have to cooperate in order to escape, and we see that each floor has an owner. Each owner of the floor has a different story, and different reasons why they want to kill them. We follow their journey through the floors and through the building, while Rachel tries to find her true self, and we see a special kind of bond bloom between the two of them, and slowly reveal the truth about Rachel and Zack. What draws you in? An unusual setup that a girl who is an amnesiac really wants to die. A weird and dark atmosphere that follows the characters and the setting itself. Intrigues the viewers to find out what is behind all this. Beautiful animation skillfully depicts the psychological state of the characters in a visually innovative and creative way. And that's about it. What can turn you away? There's a lot more to be said here. First of all, the story is drawn out. Second, for real fans of horror, this is too mild. The story is wrapped in a veil of mystery, because we don't know Rachel's true motivation. And Zack, even though he seems like an open book, is still a mystery. We don't know who he is or how he got there. The mystery part of the story is not well executed. For an anime that is supposed to be horror, there are too few horrifying and bloody scenes. It more plays out like a leisurely stroll. A lot of the dialogue is repeated. For example, please kill me, as many others, which further weakens the story. If you want to push the main idea in the sentence, please kill me, and to repeat it so much in all of 16 episodes, then the surrounding and background stories have to be very good, very clear, and very strong. This is not the case here. In general, the story is vague. Background stories are non-existent. The stories of other secondary characters we meet are even even more vague and underdeveloped. Instead of getting secondary characters to clarify and elevate the storyline, they bore us with imaginary technical terms, disjointed monologues, and too many Christian symbols, which really don't have anything to do with the main premise. They seem as if they are forced into the story, just like in Evangelion. Apparently Japanese think that Christian symbols look cool. Furthermore, attempts of humor are inappropriate, not funny, and seem out of place in this show, which makes the bad experience even worse. The end is unresolved, ambiguous. It is lightly implied, but we don't know what really happens with the main characters, which is another great disappointment. At least they could give us that satisfaction that in the end we get what really happened. But they continued with the practice. We reviewers called lazy writing. I guess that was the easy way out. Conclusion This anime is what you get when you take a video game without a good narrative and you want to make an anime with good narrative. It is a rushed, middle-of-the-road anime that is overpopularized because of the game and not because of quality storytelling that we are used to in other good anime shows. If you haven't got anything better to watch, give it a shot. Many, many tried and gave up after three or four episodes. But maybe you'll like it. Give it a try. I watched this anime in order to see why is it so popular. And the best answer I can get is different people like different things. That's it for this anime snapshot. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Follow us on social networks. Check out other videos on our channel. That's it. Bye-bye.